uh, get a load of this. This is pretty disgusting. 24 Metro priests credibly accused of sexual abuse of a child. So you got 24 mo more Roman Catholic priests at bail sexually abusing a child. Absolutely disgusting. A Roman Catholic Diocese of Kansas City, St. Joseph, released a list on Friday of 24 priests credibly, credibly accused of sexual abuse. The report followed an investigation organized by the diocese earlier this year involving former FBI agents who were given access to church document, documents dating back to 1956. Of the 24 priests listed in the report, 19 were official members of the diocese. The majority of the priests have since died, with many of the cases dating back decades. Yeah, they're dead now and in hell. There they are right now in hell. But for David uh, Breyer, Breyer Smith, one of the names brought back memories of, of horrors his two sons allegedly experienced back in the 1970s. Physically, they were raped. I don't know how else to say it. He told 41 Action News it happened when they were 9, 10, and 11. His two sons didn't report the alleged sexual abuse to their father until almost 20 years ago, and the experience still brings plenty of pain for them. I have eight children, and of those who are still struggling tremendously about this, Briar Smith said, it's a strange, strange thing that neither one of them knew that the other was being abused. Years later, the father... Their father has forgotten the name of the man who sexually abused him. Hugh uh, Mohan, Mo, Monahan, he said the former priest's name was one of the dozens that dozen that appeared on the diocese report uh, released on Friday. Following the announcement, Director of Child and Youth Protection, Carrie Cooper, spoke to 41 Action News about the report brought or about how the report brought an important step. This is something that the victims have asked for, for and survivors have asked for. He said, it's been the goal to be transparent in the work we do, transparent in the work we do. This is, is, an, yeah, this is another effort in transparency. Uh, Cooper noted that no active members of the diocese appeared on the list and that almost all the allegations uh, stemmed from before 1999. After working directly with some survivors, Cooper said it was important for the diocese to grow stronger from the report. Yeah, the, the diocese is a pagan temple. Uh, while we can't change what happened in the past, we can try and move forward, she said. Our goal now is, is a culture change to where this is something we can talk about. Moving forward, Cooper said the diocese will continue training all adults to be aware of, po of possible abuse. Sure. Again, Roman Catholicism, they're getting this pagan abuse from the pagan Roman Empire, Greek and Roman paganism, which is rampant with pedophilia. So that's where they're getting all this pedophilia from. He said that everyone is encouraged to report any possible incidents that have occurred. With investigations continuing, Cooper added that the list of priests continue to, to allege sexual abuse cases may grow longer. With sexual abuse in general, we know statistically that perpetrators typically have more than one victim, and sometimes it can be hundreds of victims, she said. Disgusting. As for concerns raised from seeing two dozen names linked to alleged crimes, Cooper said the diocese will continue to take on the issue. This has been really deep. A really deep break in trust. She said, "Our goal is to work and see that that, that uh, there, if there is any way, we can try and regain that." Yeah, with the Roman Catholic Church, I don't think so. What does the Word of God say? Matthew, chapter eighteen, verse fourteen. Even so, it is not the will of your Father which is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. Matthew eighteen, verse six. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged around his neck, and that he were drowned in the depths of the sea. He, you know, God strongly condemns pedophilia and child abuse, so the Roman Catholic Church is never going to repent of their pedophilia, because they're getting that tradition from the pagan Greeks and Romans. So, don't be deceived, Roman Catholicism is not Christianity, it is a pagan uh, cult that, that came from Roman paganism. So, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.